Spin, little pinwheel. Spin. Hi, my name is Sarah, and you are watching Crafty Friday on So Craftastic. On today's episode, I am teaching you how to make duct tape pinwheels. This is a super cute summer project and you can even make them patriotic colored for the 4th of July, which is coming up soon. Woo! If you want to see more duct tape projects on this channel, then please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. P.S. If you don't want to use duct tape or you don't have duct tape, then you can follow the same instructions I'm about to give with paper instead. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To make this project, I'm going to use some duct tape. I like to use two different colors or patterns for each pinwheel. I'm also going to use a ruler, an X-Acto knife, and a pair of scissors. Now I'm getting out my handy dandy cutting board, which I got from Walmart. It makes things a lot easier. I'm about to show you how to make a double-sided duct tape sheet. For this sheet, I'm using four pieces of duct tape. Grab your first roll and lay a piece onto your cutting board. Then you'll want to slightly overlap the second piece right next to it. I want my square to be three and three-fourths inches each way. I'm making these pieces longer than I actually need them to be because I'm going to trim them down at the end. My square is going to be three and three-fourths inches, so two strips of duct tape is enough for the width. Now I'm going to carefully peel up those connected pieces of duct tape, and I'm going to lay them so the sticky side is facing upward. Now I'm taking another color of duct tape, and I'm going to cut a strip. You want the strip to be about the same length, and then I'm going to carefully lay it on so that the sticky sides are facing each other. You want to line it up at the edge and then carefully and slowly press it down so there are no creases. Cut another piece about the same length, and then you're going to do this to cover up the rest of the stickiness. It's hard for me to make this exact, so that's why I cut my length a little bit longer than I need it to be. That way I can trim down the kind of not so pretty pieces at the end. Now I'm trimming my duct tape sheet into a square that's about three and three fourths inches, like I've said. Once you have your duct tape square, you'll need to find the exact middle and make a tiny mark just so you know where it is. Once you have found the middle, you're going to fold this diagonally both ways to make two lines that form an X across the square. Take your ruler and set it down at your middle point and you're just going to mark about three-fourths of an inch. Just press down with your nail and from the corner you're going to take your scissors and just cut up the line until you get to that mark. You're going to do this on every single corner so repeat it three more times. Now I'm going to use a straight pin and a pair of needle nose pliers to poke a hole in the middle of the square and on four of the points. I use the straight pin to start off the hole and then I make it a little bit bigger with my pair of pliers. When you're doing the points, fold it into the middle to see where it lines up and then you're going to poke a hole in every other point.
Once all of the holes are poked, it's time to join the pinwheel together. I'm grabbing a long head pin, a glass seed bead, and a round plastic bead. Grab a point, any point with a hole. You're going to just take your pin and stick it through. Then just go to the next point on the right and stick the pin through that hole as well. Continue on to the third point with the hole and finally on to the fourth. Once you have the pin through all four points, you're going to place it through the middle hole as well. Now decide if you want to attach your pinwheel to a pencil or a straw. Either way, you're going to start the hole with something sharp, so a safety pin, a straight pin, a push pin, anything you want. On the back, you'll probably notice that you'll have a lot of extra wire on your head pin just sticking out. So what I like to do is use a pair of pliers and just bend it down like I did on this pink one here. Or if you have some extra earring backings, I notice that a lot of earrings come with two backings and I never use the second pair. So I have a section in my jewelry box with all the extra backings just in case I ever lose any. Well, you can use them for your pinwheels. And then I just trimmed off any of the excess wire with a pair of wire cutters. If you end up making your own duct tape pinwheel, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please subscribe to my channel because I put out a new crafty video every single Friday for Crafty Friday. Last week on Crafty Friday, I did a dessert video on a popular treat, which is the French macaron. I made mine patriotic theme, but you can do any color you want. And as you can see by these photos that were sent in to me, there were tons of different flavors and colors and also some crochet and clay macarons. Those are super cute as well. Thank you for sending those photos in to me. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. And I also wanna give you guys a huge thank you for 500,000 plus subscribers. I will be having a giveaway on this channel soon, but I want my Instagram giveaway to end first. So if you don't know about my Instagram, Go check it out. It's Sarah Lynn T. Information in the description box below. If you follow me on Instagram and repost my giveaway photo, you have a chance to win some awesome prizes that include Rainbow Loom Monster Tail and some rubber bands. The giveaway ends July 13th, 2014, so go ahead and check it out while you still have time. If you're watching this video before then, of course. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Goodbye! Woo, pinwheels! <laughs> Woo I can't help myself but to move them around. Whoa. Poof. Ooh. Spin into town. Oh yeah. This pinwheel is the one that spins the best, and this one's a little bit wonky. What are the differences, you might ask? On this one, I actually taped the points to the middle. Not sure if you can tell, but there's tape there. So you can see that this one is a lot less puffy than this red and blue one here. It's very easy to just take the pin out and make adjustments so it spins better, which I will probably do with this one later. So you wanna have plenty of room inside and make sure that the points are far away from the straw. Here's how the one on the pencil spins. It's just about as good. So here's this one and this one. I don't know what I was doing.